Hopefully yeah. it's not too late. I honestly, I don't know if I'll, like, I, I, hopefully I'll find somebody. Drake talks dating, porn, and marriage in a rare no-holds-barred interview with Howard Stern. But turns out it's all part of a deep fake series to promote his joint album with 21 Savage. Still gonna turn it all the way up. On Wednesday, the musician posted this clip to Instagram. It's a very real looking fake chat with the radio personality. And let's just say he left his filter at home. You said you were open about porn. What, what type of porn are you watching? What, what is your thing? It's top. Wow. Like, Holy the Highest tier of <laughs> top givers. That's really what I'm- I see. Consistently, like on a daily basis, tuned into like- Right. Just really like, those are like the real superstars of the world to me. <laughs> yeah, Drake kicks off the convo, describing his favorite genre of adult films. Look, I love you, girl. For real. You don't love me. Yeah, I love you. If you love me, then you make them other girls and your phone disappear. And when it comes to his current view on dating, he says he's not exactly a one woman kind of guy. Right now, I feel like I get into this habit of dating like four or five women to make one woman. Cause yeah. I like like these like two things Pieces about this each girl. One. And then I like like what this girl does for a living. So putting a ring on it isn't really top of mind for Drake, but he isn't ruling out marriage in the future. I think that eventually, once all this is said and done for us and right. that addiction of work and success and forward movement is over, I feel like we're all gonna need something real. Hopefully yeah. it's not too late. I honestly, I don't know if I'll, like, I, I, hopefully I'll find somebody. I gotta figure out what my brand of love will be, you know? The woman that's gonna have my children, child, children, whatever. I gotta figure out who that's gonna be, man. The biggest thing is I need to be inspired, so I just don't ever, I don't know where, when, like, I don't know how to find that with the, like, with the porn question in there with the other, like, I just need all those things. <laughs> Drake captioned the clip, quote, absolutely no filter with the incomparable Howard Stern. Thanks for having us. You know, life is about evolution, so it's about having a different brand of fun now. But that wild chat is all just promo for his new album with 21 Savage, Her Loss, dropping Friday. In fact, that footage from Stern was ripped straight from a Gerard Carmichael interview. You said you were open about porn. What, what type of porn are you watching? Man, are you watching oh and are you, what, what is your thing? Well, I was saying, like, I think being closeted probably, like, attracted me to, like, versions of secret sex. You said you were open about porn. What, what type of porn are you watching? What, what is your thing? It's top. Wow. Like, Holy the Highest tier of <laughs> top givers. Well, they sure know how to get people talking. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> but Drake and 21 Savage didn't stop there. The two also shared this clip, teasing a faux performance on NPR's Tiny Desk series. My name is Drake. On the one And uh, this is our Tiny Desk. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get into it. And they shared this fake Vogue cover, thanking Editor-in-Chief Anna Wintour for the love and support on this historic moment in the caption. Um, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, it's something I've wanted for, for my entire life. But we'll leave you with this gem. 21 Savage's spoof of Vogue's What's in My Bag. We got Charlotte's Web. It's a real good read. I love this book. I read it all the time, you know. Got a bag inside my bag, because, you know, could never have too much bag. Got Janet Jackson. Anytime, any place, you know. I can't play it, because none of the cars I drive got CD players, but, you know, I just keep it for, like, memorabilia. Yeah. That's what's in my bag. The guys have yet to address their creative promo plan, but something tells me once the album drops Friday, we may be in for some more phony fun. It's top, highest tier of <laughs> top givers.